Go on, you're live. Oh, James, you can go back to me again, right? I hope this will be, will be our final bit, uh, video on the phone. Right? I didn't follow with you, James. Your name was mentioned. That's no problem. I didn't send to you then, James. Um, first of all, we have to say to you, I'm not fighting for £50,000 gems because I haven't got £50,000 gems. And if I had it, I would fight you. That's the truest God in heaven. But you don't fight for nothing, you said. I'll fight you for £5,000. That's all I can give you, gems. I can give you no more. I can put no more on myself. I haven't. When you haven't got it, you haven't got it. And that's all I'm putting on myself, gems. Just to make you happy if you want it for money. I put £5,000 on myself. Right? That's what I put. There won't be no 10 fellas with me. If I had 20 fellas behind my back, we'd have all £5,000 and we have £50,000. You're only getting my money, James. Nobody else's money. And that's if you do get it. Right? On the 12th of December. Now, you said a while ago, don't be bringing up anybody else's name, is it? Well, I don't know who a while ago got haunted with. Tony got haunted a while ago, Huey, and a different fella belong to you. James Green Jr. And James Green Jr. They belong to you. None of my people got into that, James. Not one of my nephews or cousins got hand back onto you. Now, that this is quite clear, James. I'm on my own, James. Nobody else, only me and Barney. And you've got to accept that. That's who you're fighting against. I, I have nobody else with me. I will gladly fight you for £5,000, James. If I had £100,000, James, I would. But I haven't got it. I haven't got it. And you're a fighting man for money. 5000 should be enough for your day to get back. If you think you're going to win. You said you fight me the last time for no money because you knew you were going to bait me. But you just won on your day. We need to be going all over this shite, shite, shite again. Now, I don't want anybody coming in online at the moment when I'm talking to you, James. Because I'm talking to you. This is between me and you, James. Nobody else. Now, I don't mind the country people. But keep your nephews our commenting in. Because none of my nephews coming into you. Do you understand that? This is between me and you, James. I didn't start this, James. Your two cousins back in Monagar started this. They're the boys who started this. I didn't ask them to come to my house. I didn't ask them to come to my house. I didn't ask them to come to my house to try and threaten to kill me and me woman and children. I mean, they mention your name, James. This is the reason you're here. Not because of me, James. It's because of them two books. Do you understand that, James? I met you umpteen different times, James, over the last years, and I never fell out with you. We always got on well. We had drinks together several different places since we fired, and we never fell out. We never insulted each other. So I didn't bring this fight on, James. It's your two cousins in Mullingar that brought this fight on. But yet they are not fighting. Me and you have to fight. I have no problem fighting you, James. I'm not fighting you for £50,000, James, because I'm not, I'm not putting £50,000 up, James. I haven't got it. Simple as that. I have no drug money, James. Simple as that. I have £5,000, James. I might scrape up, James, if you're willing to fight for 5000 But that's all I'm going to put up, James. And if you don't accept that, then, as you said, if we meet, we meet. I can do no more, James. I didn't bring your name into it. Your nephews, or cousins, or young fellas, or sons, they are at the common in eight or nine different times. I didn't common in gems, or no one belonged to me common in gems. You are against a one man army here, gems. And as you said, keep it country between myself and yourself. Simple as that. Now we won't be, we will forget about the shy talk anymore now. If it's money you want, James, I have £5,000, but I have nothing else, James, to put up against your 5000 James, right? And we'll get it on, on the 12th of December. And I think £5,000, James, is enough for any good payday. If you win, you get £5,000, you're going home with Chaps Paddy's house, £5,000. And if you lose, you get nothing. Because I'll get your money, and that's the way it's going to be, James. I'm going to take your money. Now you need me saying about keep a country, bring in other navens or quins. I brought no navens into this, James. I brought no quins into this, James. Now as I'm talking to you, James, you look at your face, James. 
you look at your face, and another thing, I'm no Egypt, James. If there's any of an Egypt, if there's any of us in Egypt, you're the Egypt. You're the Egypt, James, not me. I'm living in my country where I was born and bred. You were ran out of it. I have no problem. You'll come back to Ireland to me. That is not a problem, James. That's not a problem whatsoever. I will gladly oblige you, James, for five thousand pound. And if that's not good enough for you, James, as you said, if we meet, we'll meet. Now, if five thousand pounds is not good enough for you, for as you think, a couple of minutes work. Sure, the top top ranked men in the world is not getting five thousand pounds for a couple of minutes. You come back, James, and take me on to the twelfth of December for five thousand pounds. I didn't mention anybody else's names, James. Your your ne your nephews or whatever they are to you, and sons and whatever they are, they're the ones who's coming in. Padney's Michael's fella, Tony, there's nothing got to do with him. He's the one they see he kicked my Barney up and down through Mullingar if he got him. Would that be very easy to kick Barney up and down through Mullingar? Barney's only got some twelve or thirteen years of age. He's a man twenty years of age. Will let him kick my son Joe up and down through, up, up through the town of Mullingar? And if you want fifty thousand pounds in that fight, I've no problem putting that on. I have no problem putting that fifty thousand pound on with him and Tony. If he's willing to kick Barney, that's not a problem. I will put fifty grand on my son Joe to bet Tony. Now, if you want that way, you can have that way. But anyway, and here, if you want that way, I will have the fifty thousand amateur gems. I will have fifty thousand pound with Tony. Because he's the man that brought himself into this. Therefore, I'll be losing nothing. And if I do, if I do win, if I can bet you on the day, I get doubles. Because I know my son Joe's not losing. I know that. Simple as that. Now, if you want to leave him out of it, James, if you want to leave him out of it, we'll leave him out of it. And I'll fight you for £5,000, James. Now, as I said, I don't want anybody coming into this. This has been me and you, as you said. There's no other neighbours involved. I'll keep it country, right? To be no more names called. We'll keep it nice and civil and legal. I'm telling you, James, I will fight you for £5,000 or the other way if you want to go, James. That's not a problem. But I can't see you winning two fights in the day. You might need to win one. I didn't bring any names in for James. Ye brought to, ye, ye, your two cousins was the ones that brought your name into it. As I said, there's no one belong to me coming in to, that likes my pictures or likes my videos, James. Not one. I have to say that. It's your bookers that's all liking, 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 liking. And Tony, Tony, up in Dublin, said he kicked my son Barney up and down from Willingar if he was him. But it's easy for him to kick Ta Barney up and down from Willingar. But would he kick my son George up and down from Willingar, would he? I doubt it. I doubt it very much, my friend. Now, we won't make, you're going to get back to me in a reply. And when you get back to me in a reply, I'm not shouting, I'm not calling any names. As you said, we'll keep it country. We will keep it country, James. Simple as that. Just me and you, James, for five grand. Or the other book he wants to fight, you put a price on it. You put a price on, your, on the other book he wants to fight. No other Quinn, no other Quinn in the world, or Ireland, or anywhere. Do you understand that now? Do you know, I can't be any fair with you now. He's the man that comes in a while ago that he kicked my son Barney up and down through Mullingar. If he's beside him. Well, if he'd done that commenting, he was over drink with you in England, see him in photographs with you, right? Well, if he's able to kick Barney, then kick Joe. But I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt that very much, my friend. Because I put my life in that. And my life, my house, and all I ever have, I'll put in that. That he will not be a Joe. Now, as I said, Tony, I didn't come looking for five of you, Tony. Your father, nice man, nothing against him. You're the one, Tony, put yourself in this. So, you and your cousin James, I'll fight you to 5,000, I keep on saying it. Me and you, James, if you want to leave the other two books out of it, leave them out of it. There's no other name involved. No other name whatsoever. Now, that's all I'd say to you, James. That's good enough to you. I'm not an Egypt, James. Far from an Egypt, James. Bait in the pool stick. The pool, the pool, the pool, uh, the pool table won't hit me back. You'll hit me back. Well, you had your chance with me, James, 23 years ago. And you look at what you're seeing now, James. See your face. See your face, James. He's watching.
I done that to you, James. Chaps, Paddy done that to you. See your eyes there, James, your head, your ears, the whole lot of you, James. Chaps, Paddy done that to you. A man 11 stone weight. You were 16 stone weight, James. Now, get back to me if you want to get back to me. If you're happy with him, what I'm saying to you, if you're happy, if you're not, James, go and kiss my ears.